As you enter Uth Lodge, you are greeted only by silence and a strange smell. A smell like a weed-choked garden after a rain. Roots, vines, and woodland creatures in Uth Lodge. Some foul. There is some kind of wooden man beyond the roof wall. A wood wolf. Defeating his fellow defenders has drawn the Wood Wolf's ire. He is coming this way. The Wood Wolf falls to the ground. He will not defend this strange wilderness any longer. A door slams shut ahead. Was that a human form passing through it? A live, grey-clad figure flees deeper into the house. Friend or foe, you will likely cross paths again. Something rustles in the deep foliage of the room. A second wood could just be seen standing deep within it. Defeating the other creatures has angered the wood -woad. He emerges from the overthrow to fight. Strange forest overtaking Uth Lodge now has one fewer defenders. It's the man in grey again, always one step ahead. It would seem that Perrin plants have broken through the roof with unnatural force. The third woodwork is tender. taken notice of the disturbance and does not see the least. The wooden defender falls, defeated. The air in the cellar is chilled and damp. That smell, the smell of corruption. Look sharp! To arms! Well met! I had grown weary of naught but bark and leaves for company. You are aware this place is far from safe, yes? <laughs> but of course you are. Danger is an old song in your songbook, I can see. I am a harper. You've heard of our order? As much by smell as by sight, it is clear that the Dryad and her tree are the source of the corruption. There's corruption source. True as a piper's note. The Dryad and the tree. We must wipe them out. This foul magic helm with him from Thorn Gap, unawares. And where is that, you ask? Where Hall Thame lives, deep within King's Forest. I think we should pay him a visit. <laughs> <laughs> 